Hey everyone, and welcome to another Zim tutorial. This is the second part of the Battlefield 1 configuration tutorial. Today I want to show you how to set up two Zim Apex vehicle configurations for ground and air vehicles in Battlefield 1. These configurations will greatly increase your air and ground vehicle turn speed, so you can accurately use and control those to the maximum possible extent. Also, in this video I will show you how to correctly set up your Battlefield 1 in-game vehicle options. As always, you can find the copy and paste codes of everything that I show you in this video in the description down below. Before I show you the two vehicle configurations, you have to make sure your in-game vehicle sensitivities are set to maximum. Start your Battlefield 1 game and head into its options. Switch to the advanced settings in the top right. Then scroll down to find the vehicle sensitivities. I highly recommend you to use 200% on all of these options. If you haven't already, set all of these options now to 200%. Once this is done, you can exit the Battlefield game options and start your Zim Manager. When your manager is running, start by loading your current Battlefield 1 Infantry Zim configuration. If you do not have one yet, or you do not know how to create one, you can watch my Battlefield 1 Infantry configuration video under link 1 in the video description. I will sometimes refer to this video and its settings in the following vehicle guide. Also, please tick the Expert mode in the options of your Zim Manager. You can do so by going into the Zim Manager option in the top right. After that click on Global Settings. There you can find the Expert mode option. Save your adjustments in the bottom right, and leave this menu after that. Now that the necessary preparations are complete, let's start with the first vehicle configuration setup. It is meant to be used for ground vehicles such as tanks. This configuration will be implemented into your current Battlefield 1 Infantry Zim configuration. Go into the editing menu of your current Battlefield 1 Infantry Zim configuration in the top left. After that, swipe three times to the right, or click the arrow keys on the right side three times. This will open a new sub-configuration menu. Activate this sub-configuration by pressing the Enable button. I will keep the default name Auxiliary 1 for this tutorial though. As your activation button you can pick any button that you haven't bound in your regular Battlefield 1 configuration yet. If you are unsure which buttons you have already bound to an action, then head into your hip and aim down sights configuration now and check the button bindings there. In my case I will use the left alt key as I haven't used this key yet. The activation method will be toggle, so make sure to tick the box. Below the activation options you have the advanced settings. Open this menu and you can find the deactivation buttons for this sub configuration. Here you should bind the button you used in your hip configuration to enter and leave vehicles. In my case that is the E key. This will allow you to do the following. Whenever you enter a tank or turret, you press your activation key for this sub-configuration, in my case left alt. This will start the ground vehicle sub-configuration. Once you want to leave the vehicle, you do so by pressing your regular leave button and your vehicle sub-configuration will deactivate automatically as well. Alternatively, you can press your activation key again to deactivate the sub-configuration. The next step is to open the advanced settings under your sensitivity option. You can adjust the smoothing and synchronization option there. I recommend you to use the same synchronization setting that you used in your hip configuration. I will go with common for the best mouse movements. After that adjust your ground vehicle zim sensitivity at the top. 
it is best to use a sensitivity that is three times higher than your regular hip sensitivity to overall increase the responsiveness of the vehicle aiming. Since my hip sensitivity from the previous Battlefield 1 tutorial part was 5, I will go with 15 for this configuration. The most important step comes now. Click on the Ballistic Curve Generator in the Advanced Settings. A new pop-up will appear in which you can customize the Ballistic Curve graph. I will now show you how to create a vehicle curve that will increase the turn speed. If you want to learn more about the Ballistic Curve Generator, and how the curve works in general, then I recommend you to watch my two Ballistic Curve tutorial videos under link 2 and 3 in the video description. So let's start with creating the curve. Use the slider at the bottom and move it to the right until you see the value 50. The slider should now be in the very middle. After that you press the plus button at the bottom once, and then the minus button once. The value should be back at 50. This will create a curve node that will divide the graph in two segments. Now move the slider at the bottom to the right until you see the value 70. The last step to finish the vehicle curve is to click the right slider and move it all the way to the top. The value will then be at 100. If you did everything correctly your curve should look like mine. This curve will allow you to hit the maximum turn speed much sooner, which results in a faster sensitivity. Your ground vehicle configuration is now complete. You can hit the save button in the top left and leave the configuration editing menu. As I mentioned before, you can find the copy and paste code for this ground vehicle Battlefield 1 configuration in the video description down below. Let's look at the second vehicle configuration setup, which is meant to be used for air vehicles such as jets and planes. This time however, a second Battlefield 1 configuration is required. This configuration will be dedicated to air vehicles only and will allow you to fly them very well. The first thing to do is to create a new Battlefield 1 configuration. Open the options of your ZIM manager in the top right and click on the new configuration button. Pick the Battlefield 1 configuration from the game list, and choose the console you are playing on at the bottom. Once the ZIM has loaded the new configuration, go into the editing menu of this new Battlefield 1 ZIM configuration in the top left. If you want to you can name this sub-configuration air vehicle mode. I will keep the default name Battlefield 1 for this tutorial though. At the bottom you can change the configuration light. Pick a color you like the most from the list. I will go with green in this tutorial. Whenever my ZIM will now show a green light, I will know that my air vehicle game profile is running. On the right side of the configuration color, you can find the hotkey option. I will use the F2 key for this. When I want to load my Battlefield 1 air vehicle ZIM profile, all I have to do is to press F2 on my keyboard and the configuration will be active. Since my infantry configuration hotkey is F1, I can switch between the two game profiles as often as I want to with these two keys. The next step is to swipe to the right to enter the hip menu. Alternatively press the arrow on the right side once. Open the advanced menu under the hip sensitivity first. There you can adjust the synchronization and smoothing feature. I recommend you to use the same settings that you picked in your regular Battlefield 1 Infantry Zim configuration. For me this means I will go with the option common again. After that, adjust the Zim sensitivity. My advice is to use a sensitivity that is 5 times higher than your regular Battlefield 1 Infantry hip sensitivity. Since my regular sensitivity was 5 in the previous tutorial part, I will go with 25 for this configuration. The next thing to do is to open the Ballistic Curve Generator again. Either manually recreate the ground vehicle curve from before, or copy-paste its code by using the buttons at the bottom. I will quickly draw the curve again, the procedure is the same as before. Divide the curve into two parts and raise it all the way to the top near the end of the second segment. 
When you are done editing the curve it should look like the one you can see now. After that you can close the ballistic curve generator. The most important step comes now, which is the adjustment of the movement keys. Scroll down to the movement menu and open its advanced settings at the bottom. There you will have the option to bind the right analog stick to the keyboard. I will bind the down option to spacebar, and the up option to left control. Of course you can use other buttons if you would like to. What this option does is to bind the pitch up, and pitch down option of the game to the keyboard. This will allow you to continuously fly in circles with your plane or jet, without having to move the mouse at all. Also, you can fly in circles while altering your speed with W or S. It is a very powerful setting and massively increases your air vehicle control. After that you can scroll down to bind your controller actions. Here you can see my button layout, if you want to you can copy it now, or you use your own one. Once you have bound all buttons, scroll all the way down. At the bottom of the button bindings you can find the option for the secondary button bindings. There you can bind every controller action another time. I do not use this option for air vehicles, but if you have a need for that then make use out of it. If you use the zoom feature in jets or planes, then I recommend you to swipe to the right one more time, or press the button at the right side once. This will open the zoom menu. Make sure the activation button is the same one that you used in the hip menu of this air vehicle configuration for the aim down sights action. In my case this is the right mouse button. Open the advanced settings under the aim down sights sensitivity and adjust the synchronization and smoothing option there. I will once again go with synchronization common. After that click the ballistic curve generator and recreate the curve from before again. As you can see I already did that in advance. At last adjust your mouse sensitivity. I recommend you to either use the same sensitivity that you used in the hip menu, or an even higher one. I will go with 25 again. If you do not zoom with jets or planes, then this is not necessary. Your air vehicle configuration is now complete. You can press the save button in the top left and leave the editing menu. If you have any questions about the Zim, or about the Battlefield 1 configuration, just ask in the comments down below. If you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below, and I will maybe see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your Zim experience.